start off by saying good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Walker, when you said that, uh, you know, when you get, when you get older, <laughs> you can be looking somebody in the face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my mama, I'm the youngest of eight. My mama, she used to look at me so tired. She, she'll call me every last one. <laughs> she'll work all my brothers all the way down. Right. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Jay. Yeah, Come here. <laughs> she finally got to me. <laughs> and I used to be just giggling. This thing. <laughs> try and pick up where we where we left off from last week. Uh, and we, we're dealing with Isaiah chapter 66. And verse number 23. Isaiah 66 and verse number 23. The Bible says here, and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, said the Lord. Now, again, I was I was given I was given this this, this scripture uh, in rebuttal to what I said about Christians not being under the Old Testament law. Um, which is the law of Moses, which is in the Old Testament. Um, and because Christians are not under that law, this means that we, and when I say we, I mean Christians, the disciples of Christ, we're not obligated, nor are we commanded to keep the Sabbath day Sabbath. No, we, we're not. And because the Bible does not contradict itself, and that's what uh, a lot of the scholars are saying when it comes to Isaiah chapter 66 and verse number 23, they point out all the flaws in this idea that uh, this verse binds the Sabbath on, on Christians. Um, and one of the reasons is because the Bible does not contradict itself, <clears throat> the keeping of the Sabbath, which we find in the Decalogue, uh, and the Decalogue, that's that, that, that's, that's that thing that Moses brought down. Those two tables of stone, that's the Decalogue that Moses brought down from the mountain, uh, which the Bible calls the Law of Moses. The Bible calls it that. Um, that's where we find the commandment to keep the seventh day Sabbath. Um, it, it is in the Law of Moses. But now, we as Christians, we're under the Law of Christ. And let me tell you something. The law of Christ, it is not the law of Moses. No, it's not the law of Moses. No, 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 no. But now, isn't it strange? <clears throat> isn't it strange that uh, I, 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 out of all of the law of Christ, there is not one command for the disciples of Christ, Christians, there is not one command for us to keep the Sabbath day set. Not one command. No, no, no. I mean, uh, we, we don't even have one New Testament biblical example of the Lord's church, the church of Christ. We don't have one example of the church keeping the Sabbath day set. No, not one. Not even one. But now again, isn't it strange? Isn't it strange? I mean, here we have the children of Israel. And when we go back over there, we find example after example after example of them keeping that Old Testament law, which included the Seventh-day Sabbath. We have example of it over and over and over again. But then when we get over here to the Lord's church, Christians, nothing, nothing. Now, now I don't know about you, but I find that extremely strange. Yeah, I find it very strange. And my question, my question to us, yeah, 
to those of us that are Christians, members of the body of Christ, my, my question to us is, why doesn't the Church of Christ, and when I say Church of Christ, I'm talking about that old blood bought institution that we find in the pages of, of the New Testament. Yeah, my, my question to us is, why are we not, why are we not keeping the set? Now, it's the first day of the week, and we are here. The Sabbath was yesterday. Now, why are we not keeping it? Yeah, that's my question to us. Yeah, why are we not keeping that Sabbath? Huh? Why, why are we not practicing all those dietary restrictions that they have back over there? Yeah, yeah y'all going to mess Brother Jackson up because he, he still like catfish yeah. and shrimp. <laughs> yeah, I think it was last Sunday you had to go get some shrimp. <laughs> Yeah, you go, you go mess Brother Jackson up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why are we not keeping that stuff, Church of Christ? Yeah, why, why are we not making that pilgrimage over to Jerusalem uh, in order to worship like they had to do? Yeah, why we don't do that? Why, why, we, don't, why we don't make all those required animal sacrifices that they had to make? Now, I got one for you. Why don't we practice an eye for an eye? I mean, it's in the Bible. Yeah, it's in the Bible. Yeah, I heard a lady on the news. You see someone, someone that killed a relative of hers, and the first thing out of her mouth to that reporter was the Bible says an eye for an eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, you killed my relative that I love, you need to die too. Yeah, she said the Bible said an eye for an eye. And you know what? She's absolutely right. That's what it says. Yeah, that's exactly what it says. Yeah, 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 I got enough. Um, why don't we kill those that break the Sabbath, they say? Hmm? Why, why, why we don't kill them? You know we got a Bible for that, right? Yeah, let's, let's go to Numbers. Brother, Brother Walker, Numbers chapter, Numbers chapter 15. <laughs> Numbers chapter 15, Brother Walker, verses 32 through 36. Numbers chapter 15, verses 32 through 36. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. And they that uh, found him gathered sticks, brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation. And they put him in the, in the war because it was not declared what should be done to him. And the Lord, and the Lord said unto Moses, the man shall be surely put to death. Mm -hmm. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought him without the camp and stoned him with stone, and he died as the Lord commanded Moses. All right. Now, 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 now for my Sabbath day, keep it free. And you know something? Um, and they know, they know, I don't, you know, I'm, 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 I'm serious about what I am as, as well as they are serious about what they are. Mm -hmm. And they know there is no hate or animosity towards them. That's why we, we can talk. Mm -hmm. But now my Sabbath day keeping friends, they won't even bring this up. If I don't mention it, they never will. No, they never will. Now, now, now here we have the punishment for breaking the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And my Sabbath day keeping friends, you know what they tell me? No, 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 we can't, we can't do that. We can't kill nobody. Exodus chapter 31. Exodus chapter 31. Beginning with verse number 14. It says, Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. Whosoever uh, doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among the people. Verse 6, uh, verse uh, 15. 
Six days may work be done, but in the Sabbath is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Mm -hmm. Now they want to get on my case about working on Saturday. Yeah, well the only way you only way you can get this if you go back here and get it. Yeah, and so if you're gonna go back there and grab it, like Brother Nash used to say, grab it all. <laughs> don't, don't just grab what you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go to Exodus 35. Exodus 35, verse number 2. Exodus 35, verse number 2. It says, Six days shall work be done, but on the Sabbath day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Look at verse 3. Ye shall not kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Don't cut that stove on. <laughs> and you know what? I heard one of the Sabbath day keepers. He said, nah, 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 that's not work. If, if you, you're supposed to prepare your food the day before. But, but to, to, to warm it up, that's not, that's not work. Verse 3 says you shouldn't kill the nobody. <laughs> Whatever it is, you got to eat it cold. <laughs> That's the way I understand it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You see, it, 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 you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that this thing ain't talking to us. Mm -hmm. No, you, all you got to do is study the New Testament and you'll see it. Yeah, just study the New Testament and you'll see it. Yeah, again, so why? I'm talking to Church of Christ now. Why? Why are we not? Why are we not keeping the, this, 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 this Old Testament covenant? Why are we not keeping the Sabbath? Yeah, yeah. Why, why is it? Why is it the church keeping uh, the new moon? Yeah, because that Isaiah said the new moon and the Sabbath. Yeah. So why? Why isn't the church keeping the new moon, or, or the feast of weeks, or, 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 or the feast of tabernacles, the sweet feast of uh, trumpets, all, all that stuff that's that's recorded back over there? Why isn't the church? Doing all of those things. Huh? And you know, I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for sending uh, the Apostle Paul to preach. I thank the Lord for doing that. Because uh, the Apostle Paul, he, he really cleared this thing up for me. Yeah, he really did. Because you see, um, I'm a simple man. Yeah, I'm a simple man. And you see, I, I, I need somebody to make it plain. So that even somebody like me, can understand this thing. Uh, and in Romans chapter 6, Brother Paul, Romans chapter 6 and verse number 14. Because we want to know why isn't the Church of Christ doing all that stuff? Yeah, and in Romans chapter 6, verse number 14, Brother Paul. For sin shall, have, shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, now Paul says here, he says, for sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. grace. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Paul. Again, I'm a simple man. And I see what you're saying, Paul. The reason why the Church of Christ doesn't keep the Seventh Day Sabbath and all that other stuff is because we are not under that law. No, 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 no. And for those of us who don't know, it says, "But under grace." Now, 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 grace there doesn't mean we can just go out here and sin willfully and don't worry about it, Lord got you. Now, that's, that's not what that means. This word grace, as it is reported here, it's talking about Christ. Yeah, it's talking about Christ. Uh, let's go to 1 John. 
I'm sorry, John chapter one. <laughs> I already got told about that, John. So, <laughs> John chapter one. John chapter one in verse number 17. Brother Jones, John chapter one in verse 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. All right, all right. You see, the Bible makes this thing so clear. Yeah. For, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth, Jesus Christ. And so the law, Moses, grace, Christ. Again, I, I, I'm a simple man. Just, just give me the Bible and a rightly divided manner so, so that I can say amen. amen. Yeah, that's all I want. I, I just want to be able to say amen to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so why, why is Isaiah 66 and verse number 23, why is it not telling Christians to keep the Sabbath day Sabbath? That, that, that covenant that, that Moses brought down from the mountain that was written on those stones? It's because we are not under the law. Amen. That's why. We, we're not under that law. No, 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 no. In the Bible, because it does not contradict itself, Isaiah 66 and verse number 23 is in no way, shape, form, or fashion telling Christians to keep the seven-day Sabbath. No, 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 no. So if, if you're walking around here calling yourself a Christian and, and trying to use Isaiah chapter 66 and verse number 23 as a crutch for keeping the Sabbath today, let me tell you something, it's not going to hold. No, that crutch is it, it's not going to hold. Yeah, it's not going to hold because in the Decalogue, that part of the law of Moses that's called the Ten Commandments, that, that Old Testament, Testament covenant, that was delivered to the children of Israel by the hand of Moses. In that law is where we find that God commanded the children of Israel to remember the Sabbath day. Yeah, that's where we find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, he wasn't talking to you, and he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to Israel. Well, Brother William, how, how do you know? How do you know that he was talking to Israel? Uh, turn with me to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 4. In verse number 13. But walk in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 13. He declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. All right, all right. Now, some of my some of my Old Testament law keeping friends, they say that the Ten Commandments are not a part of the Old Testament covenant. Yeah, but now what does the Bible say? Hey, the Bible says that he declared unto you his covenant. Yeah. Yeah, the Bible clearly states this. He declared unto you his covenant. Ten commandments. Now, come on now. <laughs> come on. Come on. How you going to say that, 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 that the Sabbath is not a part of the covenant? Hey. Yeah, we, we clearly that, what is it, the fourth commandment? Yeah, clearly it was a part of the team. They said, no, 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 no. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says it was a covenant. Yeah, well now, who was the Lord talking to? Yeah, who was the Old Testament law and covenant with? Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse number 1. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse number 1. The Bible says, and Moses called all Israel. And he said unto them, hear ye, O Israel, the statutes and the judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them 
and keep them and do them. The Lord was talking to Israel. Yeah, yeah, he was talking to the children of Israel. He was not talking to Christians. Yeah, yeah he wasn't talking to Christians. Yeah, Moses called all Israel, and he gave Israel that old covenant. Yeah, he did not give it to you. He did not give it to me. No, 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 it was not for us. No, he wasn't talking to us today. No, he was talking to Israel. And so again, Isaiah chapter 66 and verse number 23 is not telling Christians to keep the Sabbath day. No, because Moses wasn't talking to us. He wasn't talking to us. He was talking to Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one fellow, the one fellow said, he said, no, y'all, 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 the church of Christ, y'all got this thing wrong. Yeah, y'all y'all got it wrong. Y'all got it wrong. And he's not going to win. I've heard other, other people say the same thing about the church of Christ. Y'all got it wrong. Yeah, he says, he says, and I got New Testament scripture to prove it. That y'all got this thing wrong. And this is the New Testament scripture he gave. He went to 2 Timothy, chapter 3, and verse number 16. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse number 16. It says here, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yeah, and he says all scripture. Yeah, he said there it is right there, all scripture. Yeah, not just the new. The old two. Yeah, he said all scripture. One fellow told me, he said, yo, man, you try to knock out half the book. Yeah. It ain't me. <laughs> I ain't writing nothing in this. I ain't writing nothing in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, you try to knock out half the book. Oh. oh, you need to talk to the Lord about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did, but that's what the guy said. He said, there it is. All scripture, not just the old, not just the New Testament, the Old Testament too, all scripture. And he says, when y'all when at the Church of Christ, when you say that Christians don't have to keep the Sabbath, what you're doing is you are denying the Scripture. You're denying the Scripture. Because the Bible says all Scripture. And, and the Bible says that in the Scriptures, he says, it says, remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Well, not again. This, that's what he says. He says, if you don't keep the Sabbath, what you're doing is you're denying the scripture. Um, well, because we as Christians, because we 100% agree with 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse number 16, we, we absolutely agree with that. Yeah, exactly what it said. All scripture, we absolutely agree with that. Yeah, yeah and because of this, we want to get this thing right, don't we? Yeah, we want to get it right. Um, and, and so, uh, let, let's get an Old Testament scripture first. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah 31, 31. Brother Paul, we're Jeremiah 31, verse 31 and 32. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, said the Lord. All right. Now, Jeremiah makes it clear here. He makes it clear that the Lord... The Lord is going to make a, a new covenant. Now, we already proved that the Decalogue was that old covenant. The Lord, already, he already pointed that out. Yeah, yeah, but the Lord says, he says, the day is coming when I'm going to make a new covenant. Right. And he says, it's not going to be like that old covenant. Yeah. No, 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 it's not going to be like that old covenant. Well, now, the question becomes, which covenant are we under? Yeah, because there's clear, the Bible made it clear that there's an old covenant. And Jeremiah made it clear that 
it's going away. Yeah, because he says the Lord is going to make a, a new. Yeah, which is going to make the old one old. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so again, the question now becomes, which covenant are we under? Are we under the old covenant or are we under the new covenant? And, and let's let the Bible answer this thing for us. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. In verse number, verse number 23. It says here, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which is Christ, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. <laughs> Yeah, now, 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 now Moses, Moses, for those who don't know, Moses was the mediator of that, of that old covenant. Yeah, Moses was the mediator of that old covenant. Moses was the go-between. Moses was the, the, the between God and man. Moses was the, was the intercessor of that old covenant. Moses was the peacemaker. Yeah, and I know he was. You know why? Because when God was getting ready to destroy them all, Moses was pleading with him. The Lord told Moses, no, 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 I'm going to kill them all, and then I'm going to use you, and I'm going I'm, I'm to bring a nation out of you. Moses said, Lord, please don't do it. Don't do it. Moses, uh, the Lord told uh, Aaron and, and, and Mary, they said, he said, why were you not afraid to go against my servant, Mo, my servant Moses? Remember when they stood up against Moses? Yeah, th thought they was on his same level. No, no, the Lord said, no, 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 no. And I think it was Mary. Mary, we made lepers, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord, the Lord said, well, when you, he said, he, he, the Lord said, I speak with Moses face to face. I don't talk to y'all like that. Yeah, Moses was the middle man with God in Israel. Moses was that mediator between them. Yeah, yeah, but now, according to the Hebrews, right, Christ is our mediator. Yeah, Christ is our mediator. Yeah, he is the mediator of the new covenant. Yeah, and so what we must do is we must make a choice. Yeah, we got to make a choice. Yeah, we must make a choice as to whose covenant we're going to be under. Yeah, Malachi chapter 4. Malachi chapter 4. In verse number 4. Malachi chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Remember ye the law of who? Moses. Yeah, the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded you, uh, commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and the judgments. You see that old covenant, which includes the keeping of the Sabbath day? That's the law of Moses. Yeah, but you see, we don't find this command. We don't find it in the law of Christ. Now, and I know we can't find it in the law of Christ because number one, I've looked and I can't find it. And I've asked my seven day uh, Adventist friends and, 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 and all those who, who keep that law, I've asked them to look for it and give it to me and they ain't found it yet. Yeah, it's been years and ain't none of them produced it. None of them. Now they haven't produced it. No, 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 no. We don't find this command commanded the Christians not one time. Not one time in the New Testament. Not one time. No, 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 no. We don't find it. You know why we don't find it? Because it was for the children of Israel. It wasn't for us. Yeah, Isaiah 66 and 23, my Old Testament law keeping friends, uh, they say that the keeping of the Sabbath is the seal of God on our lives. Yeah. And it says the seal of God. Well, let's just see about it. Uh, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. It says here that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, and whom he also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of salvation, and whom also after ye believed, Ye were sealed 
with the Holy Spirit of promise. Yeah. Yeah, you see, the seal, the seal of God for Christians, it ain't got nothing to do with keeping the Sabbath. Not one thing. No, 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 no. The seal of God for Christians, it's about our obedience to the gospel of Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you have not been baptized for the remission of your sins, then you haven't been washed in the blood. No, no, no. Which means you don't have this seal. You don't have it. Yeah, I'm not trying to be mean, but you, you just don't have it. No, no, no. You see, the Bible says that the Lord knows them that are his. Yes, sir. Yeah, he knows them that are You don't have this seal if you haven't obeyed the gospel. Yeah, Revelation 1, 5, I believe it says over there, Christ washed us from our sins in his own blood. Yeah, yeah Peter preached it on the day of Pentecost. Acts 2, 38. Yeah, yeah, then Acts 20, Acts 20, 22. Acts 22. I think that's where Paul was baptized. Acts, Acts 22, Paul reaccounts this thing. At Acts 22, in verse number 16, yeah. He says here, and I was talking to Paul. He says, and now why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. You see, many of my, 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 my friends who believe in faith on me, they tell me that uh, 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 Paul was saved on the road to Damascus. Well, not according to the Bible, he wouldn't. No, no not according to the Bible. No, because Ananias tell him, told him here, he says, arise and be baptized and wash away your sin. <laughs> yeah, say, yeah, so Paul wasn't saved on the road to Damascus. Now, Paul was saved after he came up out of the waters of baptism. Because when you look at what the Bible says, when you look at where Christ placed salvation, he placed it on the other side of baptism. He did not place it before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so again, 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 I know that Isaiah chapter 66 and verse number 23 is not telling Christians to keep the Sabbath because it was said to Hosea. In Hosea chapter 2 and verse 11, we'll go there. And we'll end right there. Uh, Hosea chapter 2 and verse number. Hosea chapter 2 and verse number 11. And this is one of the, the scriptures that uh, scholars also put this thing concerning Hosea. I mean Isaiah 66. Hosea chapter 2 verse number 11 says, I will call, I will also cause all her mirth to cease. What does cease mean? It means stop. Her feast days, her new moons, and her Sabbaths. Yeah, all of her solemn feasts. Yeah. This thing was going to end, and the Bible is clear about that. The Bible tells us clearly that this thing was going to end. And we'll pick up from this point on, on next time.